second job, can't wait until I get to do it. A workaholic, the results got me addicted to it. If there's a devil, I don't listen to him. If there's a God, I ain't bitching to him. Cause he know what I Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Eddie and this is another Tekken 7 punishment guide. This time we're gonna go over the Russian beast that is dragging off. We're gonna see the moves that are launch punishable on block, moves that we can jab, knock them down, or we can flash in between. And I hope you enjoy it. Our first move is down four, one, three. This is a low mid mid string. Uh, this move is really only done after up forward four and just the combo after it. But if you do manage to get away from it and you are able to block this string, it is negative 15 and you can get a down four two or a hop knee afterwards. All right, so I have a slew of information here. Uh, the focus of this is going to be down back plus 3. Blocking this low is negative 15 on block, which will allow Yoshimitsu to get a wall rising 2-1 combo off of this. It's just that a down back 3 is cancelable, cancelable into a tackle that catches you when you're crouching. I think you can also cancel the tackle and it also has a string that goes with it. It is back two, back two, one, three, but you can cancel the three into a tackle or into a cancel tackle that I have shown in the gameplay here. Uh, adding on a bit of information for Yoshi Mitsu players, uh, if you do see the down back three cancel or if you're like right in their face, you can get a flash in the middle of it. Um, I think you have to be like perfect. I don't think you can be off axis in any way whatsoever but flash is a very solid option this move is quarter circle back plus two uh, this move is very tricky and it high crushes and is also a backswing blow so if you are going on the offense a dragon off can pull this move out and then cancel anything well i wouldn't say cancel but it will beat most options that are high oh i forgot to add the frames into it this move is also negative 15 on block Yoshimitsu can get a down forward 2 or a hop knee from this move. Uh, please try not to confuse this with a quarter circle forward plus 2. That move is safe on block. Just think if he ducks in, you can launch it. If he doesn't duck in, or if he doesn't duck backwards, then yeah, it is safe. To start off the jab punishable section, we got 121, which is high mid mid, and it is negative 13 on block. Unfortunately, we cannot flash this, it all jails. Up next, we have a 50 50 consisting of 213 and 214. 213 ends in a high, and 214 ends in a low. If you do duck the high, you can get a wall rising 2 if you're on point. If you block the low, you get a wall rising 4. Or if you decide the low parry, you can get a combo off of that as well. Up next, we have 312. This is typically a combo ender. If you do catch him outside of a combo, it is negative 12 on block. Yoshimitsu can get a down forward 4 off of him. Up next we have 4 into 3. This move is negative 12 on block. Uh, this is not to be confused with 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four is where he hops up and does a spin kick. You don't want to get hit by that. That is safe. You, you don't want to mess with that move at all. Most foul crushes in Tekken can't be punished, however Dragonoffs can. His input for it is 1 plus 2 and this is negative 12 on block. Up next we have 4, 3 into 3. This is a double mid string that's negative 12. Getting hit by the second hit will get you put into a head grab. Is it called a head grab? Whatever, I'm not cool. You'll get knocked to the ground and that's all that matters. Don't get hit by this. We have down four plus one four. This is a mid high string, constantly used at the wall for wall combos, but please duck this move. Dragonov has his own down four too. Unfortunately for him, his is negative 12 on block. Please do a down four at four or one one would suffice. Remember that down 4 string that we covered first, uh, that move has a mix up with it. This is down 4-4, four, four. this move is high, you can duck it and get it while rising to punish off of it. 
Up next we have a noob killer string. This is down back plus two, one, two. This is mid, mid, and mid. It's negative 14 on block. Yoshimitsu can flash the last hit, but please beware that the last hit can be delayed for a bit. We also have another noob killer string with back four, two, one. This is mid, mid, high. If you attempt to try to duck early, you're gonna get hit by the entire string. If you get hit by any move in the string, you're gonna get hit by the entire string. Uh, the best tip is to be patient and then duck once you see that hit coming. This move is wall rising one, two. This move is very easily confused with back one, two. Back one, two is safe. This move has a high end, so you can duck this move. This little quick string is wall standing one, three. Uh, this move is negative 12 on block. It does look safe, but you can punish this one. One of Dragon Isle's most dangerous moves is his Wall Rising 2. It's a simple launching mid that's negative 12 on block. Uh, just be sure to not get hit by this move. The last of Dragon Isle's strings is a sidestep 2 series. He has sidestep 2 into 3. He has sidestep 2, 1 plus 2 into 4. And then he also has sidestep 2 into 1 plus 2 into a tackle. Uh, the beauty about the kicks is that the kicks will always end in high, but if they go for the tackle, they will always have a tackle mix up if they do hit it. And to finish off Dragonov, we have his 10 hit combo. I believe the low in this does not come until the 6th or 7th hit. Yeah, there you go. And that will do it on my guide video for Dragonov. I appreciate you guys watching. My job here is to help get gamers in the right direction. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe. And if you have any criticism on how to make my few my new videos better, please let me know as well. Be sure to drop a comment as well. And you guys stay well, and I will see you next time.